Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Google Beyond Extraterrestrial Rover Mark I. There it is. We will now cover the excruciatingly and painfully detailed construction on this rover prototype. There you see the servo that will turn the motor left and right and allow the rover to go forward and if it must go backward we can reverse the direction of the motor. There's the propeller motor. The little red doohickey at the top is the receiver. The doohickey at the back is the LiPo battery. The LiPo battery will be subjected to extremely cold temperatures. Therefore we have planned to cover it with a wool sock. A thermal wool sock. Here again you see the side view of the pink circumference of the motivating wheel thing. It's an amazing piece of machinery. Simple in idea and construction, yet highly complex. Simple yet complex. Here we are at the simulated Moonscape, testing the motor, left and right, take a little right turn, uh, left turn, take a little right turn, a little forward motion, a little longer jaunt, and give it the gas. As you can see, we will very quickly cover the proposed 500 meter minimum distance that the rover must traverse. The battery has ample power to cover a long distance on the moon's surface. It is poetry in motion. This is one small step for a moon rover. One giant leap for moon rover kind. It is our intention to land on the moon. In this picture, you see this large area. This is where we do not wish to land. These are maria, or seas, and we do not wish to get our probe wet. So we have decided to land up here in these craggy mountains where we expect we will be high and dry. Three, two, one, liftoff! And we have liftoff from Spaceport America. I would just like to say at this, at this point in time, we probably went to the moon in 1968 probably did not simulate or fake the lunar landings in a warehouse in Area 51. And there you have it. The grand quest to further the entrails of science and education to extinguish the ignorance and backwardness of an unscientific framework for the continual advancement of humankind. Needless to say, the future is secure in the hands of capable humans such as ourselves. We will boldly go where no man has gone before. Now it is true, the aliens may have got there before us. But through the notable examples portrayed by Sigourney Weaver and Richard Dreyfuss, we know how to encounter the third kind. Through our knowledge of extraterrestrial communications gained by simulated exercises, 
and our awareness of how many alien cultures we may encounter, thanks to the indecipherable Drake equation, we will be able to effectively engage with alien life forms or extinguish them if we must. Humans are very good at extinguishing life. The future is bright with anticipation and cosmic significance, with billions upon billions of years to bring humans to the pinnacle of achievement. It is only inevitable that we succeed in translating the human spirit into a butterfly. Free to travel, its incorrigible and unpredictable path with serenity to oblivion. While we are watching some scenes from the testing of the rover on our simulated moonscape, I just want to offer some thanks to various individuals for allowing me to present this material in such a forthright manner. I want to thank my therapist for giving me a clean bill of health, long enough at any rate to complete this video. I want to thank Carl Sagan, who's inspired me with his wondrous voice and with his vision of science, too. I greatly appreciate rcgroups.com for letting me post my insufferable RC airplane videos. I also want to thank instructables.com for letting me post my insufferable instructables videos under the username Jim R D. Thanks to Diana Rigg, whose performances in The Avengers inspired my love for science. Thanks to my English students, who try so hard not to try so hard. Thanks to the VideoPad video editor folks, whose software I use to create this masterpiece of scientific erudition. My free 14-day trial has expired, so I guess I'll just reload the software. And finally, thanks to God for making such an incredible entertaining universe. I hope that Richard Dawkins will join in my accolades to the great intelligent designer. Farewell.